Uh, it's a call State Trooper Daniel Britz gets all too often. It was uh, put out as a vehicle rollover, and vehicle rolled five to six times. So wasn't sure what to expect when I got to the scene, but anytime a vehicle rolls over, especially that many times, you're expecting the worst. When he got to the scene, what he saw was a van completely smashed. And to his surprise and relief, the driver, 20-year-old Lucas Drena of Oakdale, up walking and talking. I was just cruising on my way to work, and then all of a sudden there was a pickup truck with a horse trailer behind it that started to lose control within a second or two. It T-boned me, and I shut my eyes and held on for dear life. Lucas walked away from the accident with a few scratches, bruises, and two staples in his head, an outcome that would have been much graver if he wasn't buckled in. He would be dead. There's no doubt about it in my mind. He would have been ejected out of the vehicle. Every single window in the vehicle was broken out. And I would have more than likely been ejected, smushed, crushed. For Lucas's mom, a traumatic experience. Looking back through photos of what could have been, she knows her son wouldn't be here if he didn't buckle up. It was so much disbelief, you know, seeing just so much destruction and, and being able to be there with him and that he was literally able to just step away with minor injuries um, to himself and was nothing short of a miracle. Seatbelts are, they're there for a reason and that's why I'm here.